Hello everyone, I've posted a video recently talking about how the closure of many exam centres was causing difficulty for some AWS certification students as they were unable to get into their exams. Things have got more difficult since then and many of us are stuck at home having to work remotely or just stay home and look after ourselves and our families. AWS have now made a bigger announcement and they've said that they're going to allow students to take any AWS certification exam from home. That's something that was previously reserved for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, the foundational level certification only. So it really is a big thing that they've allowed people to start taking those exams from home. They've also said that they're going to extend the expiration of people's certificates so if you've got a certification that's due to expire over the next couple of months, they're going to extend that until to give you a bit more time, basically, so that you can finish that certification when things have hopefully calmed down in the near future. They're doing the same for exam vouchers. So if you have an exam voucher that you're not going to be able to use because of the closure of exam centers, they're going to allow you to extend that. So I want to focus a bit more on being able to take your exam from home. This is something I've done before with the Cloud Practitioner exam. So what you do is you log into the AWS training portal, you choose your exam on cert metrics, and you then specify that you wanna take it from home. Now, it does download some software to your machine, you have to do some system checks, and you have to fulfill some specific criteria. You have to have a clutter-free desk, you can't have any other monitors or anything on it. You need to take photos of the area surrounding your desk to show that it's clear, and on the actual exam day, somebody will watch you. So it's proctored. They'll be watching you via your webcam and they need you to sort of maneuver your machine around and show them the room to see that it doesn't actually have any other people in it, you know, any distractions of any sort or even any materials that you could use to potentially cheat. So if you can fulfill that and you have a quiet, empty workspace, then you can just use your computer and take the exam on your own computer and they'll watch you throughout the whole process. So you've got a proctor on the other end, making sure that you're not cheating in any way and you're not allowed to take any toilet breaks. So that's a key thing, no breaks at all. You've got to sit there for the entire length of the exam. But it is a really good solution for now when we're all stuck at home and hoping to sort of use our time to try and make some progress in our certifications. I've posted a blog article also taking you through the steps and what I'll do now as well is show you on my screen how you can log into the AWS training portal and then book your exam and take it from home. Hi guys, I'd like to show you now how you can log into the AWS training portal and select to take an AWS certification exam from home. So let's choose let's get started. I'm then going to choose sign in and I already have my credentials saved so I can just choose sign in again. Now what you want to do is choose access certification and then you have to click on go to your account. And this will take you over to the certmetrics.com portal. On this page, you choose schedule new exam. And now you'll get presented with a list of available exams. And you'll see that the old version of the Solutions Architect Associate exam is there, it's retiring, but the expiration date is now 30th June 2020. So you've got a bit more time. Same for the big data specialty, that's been moved so that you also get till June 30th. Now, you do need to sh schedule with Pearson View. So for instance, I'm gonna choose the old version of the Solutions Architect exam, click Schedule with Pearson View, and now I get some options. So I can choose to take the exam at a local test center or at a home or office. So I'm gonna choose at a home or office, and you'll see there's a run pre-check option here, and I encourage you to use that. I've done it before, so I know my system is compatible. So I'm gonna choose Next. You've got to click on a few of these privacy statements and agree to the terms and conditions and choose next. And then choose your language. I'm going to choose English and choose next. And it's confirming the exam we want to choose and the price. And that this and it's reminding me that this one's going to retire on June 30, 2020. So let's click next again. And once more. And now we get to choose an appointment. So I'm going to choose tomorrow, the 26th of March. And let's choose a 12.15 appointment. And that's it. I'm now ready to proceed to the checkout and actually book the exam in. So that's all there is to it. You can now take any AWS certification exam from the comfort of your own home. Now remember to run the pre-check 
And before you actually take the exam, they'll ask you to do some more checks as well. And before, a few minutes before, or maybe 15 minutes before, I suggest you make sure that everything's set up. You'll also get asked to take some photos to the left, to the right, in front and behind the workspace where you're going to take the exam from. And they need to satisfy some criteria of being sort of clutter free and distraction free. And then when you actually take the exam, right at the very beginning, the proctor will ask you to maneuver your machine so that you can show through your webcam the entire space around where you're gonna be working. They wanna make sure there's no materials you can use to cheat, that there's no one else in the room and that it fulfills whatever criteria they have. And then you get to start your exam, and the proctor will actually watch you through the webcam throughout, and you're not allowed to take any breaks, so make sure you don't need a toilet break during the exam, because you're gonna to have to go through right until the end with no breaks. But if you get all those things set up, it's a pretty good thing to be able to take your exam from home, especially in these difficult times. So I hope that was useful to you guys, and best of luck with any AWS certification exams you take. If you enjoyed this video and got value from it, please like the video below and check out the links to the resources that we provide to you on our website.